The Breda Valley Municipality is one of more than 250 local authorities in South Africa. It is located in the Western Cape Province, about one hour from the city of Cape Town. The regional center is the town of Worcester, and the area's main economic driver is its well-established agricultural sector. Its fertile valleys and Mediterranean climate have enabled the development of a highly competitive commercial agricultural sector, primarily focused on exporting table grapes and other fruit and wine, as well as the production of broiler chickens, vegetables and dairy products for the local market. At the same time, the population of the Breda Valley municipality faced challenges such as persistent food insecurity, child malnutrition, unemployment and poverty. Climate change is an additional threat to the regional food system and the livelihoods generated within the region. The area is already experiencing unseasonal rainfall, heat waves, flooding and bushfires. For these reasons, the Breda Valley Municipality, or BVM, was chosen as a pilot site by researchers from South Africa's DSI NRF Center of Excellence in Food Security at the University of the Western Cape, the French Agricultural Research Center for International Development, also known as CRAD, and Freer University Amsterdam. Together with local stakeholders, they have been conducting a comprehensive study on urban food system resilience under climate change. The study is part of the Urban FOSC project funded by the European Union. It covers two other regions in Africa, Nakuru in the Nile Rift Valley in Kenya and Constantine in Algeria. The purpose of the study is to identify the sources of vulnerability perceived by actors in the food system. The key issue is identifying the pathways for enhancing food system sustainability and resilience. The research team has worked closely with local stakeholders including government officials, farmers, community leaders and resource management experts. They have delved into various aspects of the local food system, including agricultural production, distribution networks, sustainability efforts and initiatives, territorial planning, community resilience and collaborative governance. This has involved participants from all the universities in the Western Cape and all spheres of government at the local, provincial and national levels as well as councillors, NGOs and the private sector. The findings have provided insights into the Breeder Valley's strengths, vulnerabilities and responses to food security issues under a changing climate. Using a territorial food system approach that promotes comprehensive, locally rooted, cross-sectoral solutions, the study has revealed that the region's food system is dynamic and internationally competitive, but marked by significant disparities. Despite abundant agricultural resources, food and nutrition security remain significant concerns, particularly among vulnerable communities. As an example, the stunting prevalence of under 5-year-old children, which is an indicator of chronic malnutrition, is higher in BVM than the national average. With appropriate support and care, this serious but preventable condition can be eliminated in a food environment that is as well endowed with healthy food such as the BVM. Additionally, the BVM food system faces pressures from the international market, climate change and structural factors that exceed local governance and resources. These require support from other spheres of government. Nevertheless, the findings have revealed that both public and private actors are implementing strategies to enhance the food system's long-term resilience. These are having an impact which points towards future opportunities. Successful implementation of the national, provincial and local policies, strategies and plans that can improve food and nutrition security could lead to a reduction of malnutrition in all its forms. Key to this is coordination, cooperation and establishment of a shared commitment to build a resilient and equitable food system. The study has highlighted the importance of integrated, regionally focused food systems analysis based on the co-production of knowledge by researchers and local stakeholders. It has identified opportunities to improve strategic planning to address long-term challenges while promoting resilience. It has shown that community involvement and stakeholder engagement are vital when building a sustainable and resilient food system through driving positive change and enhancing food security within the Breeder Valley. 
These findings offer a potential model for towns and villages like Worcester, De Duins, Taos River and Rawsonville, elsewhere in South Africa and other African countries. When we are in environments where resources are scarce and decisions are important, we need evidence. Some of that evidence can come from your conventional types of research where we ask questions, we do analysis, we run it through a computer. But much of that research needs to recognize that local people are experts and the expertise and knowledge needs to be brought together so that we can co-create and co-produce a better system for food.